Hi, I'm Sangeeta Krishnan and I welcome you on behalf of Jagran Josh to this week's video. So first I'll be taking you through the main headlines of the week then I'll be coming to the topic of discussion for today. The key headlines of the week are India's Manushi Chilla crowned Miss World 2017. Manushi's win has brought home the coveted title after a 17 year long wait. The last Indian contestant to win Miss World was Priyanka Chopra in the year 2000. India's nominee Dalveer Bhandari re-elected to the International Court of Justice. Bhandari and Britain's Christopher Greenwood were locked in a neck-to-neck -neck fight for re-election to the International Court. However, in a dramatic turn of events, Britain withdrew its candidate paving way for Bhandari's re-election. Babri Masjid land dispute. Shia Waqf board submits peaceful settlement to Supreme Court. Under the settlement the board has proposed that Ram temple can be built in the Ayodhya site while a mosque can be constructed in Lucknow. Brahmos missile successfully flight tested on Sukhoi fighter aircraft. The world's fastest supersonic cruise missile Brahmos created history on 22nd November after it was successfully flight tested on Indian Air Force frontline fighter aircraft Sukhoi for the first time. Global Hunger Index 2017 released India ranked 100 among 119. At 31.4, India's hunger score is placed at the higher end of the serious category. In fact, it is one of the important factors that are pushing South Asia to the category of the worst performing region in the index. So this is the topic that I would be discussing in detail with you today. The International Food Policy Research Institute released Global Hunger Index 2017, The Inequalities of Hunger. India has slipped further in the index. This year India was placed at the 100th rank among 119 nations. Last year it was placed at the 97th rank. The Global Hunger Index basically ranks nations on the basis of four important factors which are undernourishment, child mortality, child wasting and child stunting. As per the 2017 report, the global hunger levels have decreased by 27% in comparison to the year 2000. Out of the 119 assessed nations, one falls in the extremely alarming range, seven falls in the alarming range, 44 fall in serious range, while 24 fall in the moderate range. However, what is seriously concerning is that some nations lack sufficient data to calculate the hunger index score. The list includes nations like Somalia, South Sudan and Syria which may have the highest level of hunger. In South Asia, India's 100th score is the third worst in the region, much behind even Nepal and Bangladesh which are ranked at the 72nd and 88th position respectively. China with its 29th rank is ranked the highest in the region, while Myanmar is ranked 77, Sri Lanka is ranked 84. Pakistan and Afghanistan are the only two nations to perform even worse than India, while Pakistan is ranked at 106, Afghanistan is ranked at 107. Overall, 14 nations including China, Peru, Panama, Azerbaijan, Senegal and Panama have improved their scores by 50% or more. Coming to India's position in the index, India's hunger issue is mainly driven by high child malnutrition. More than a fifth of Indian children aged below 5 weigh too little for their height and a third are too short. The report further points out that the two national nutritional programs Integrated Child Development Program and National Health Mission to fail to achieve adequate coverage. This underlines the need for a stronger commitment towards the social sector. So now let's come to some of the ways we can improve the hunger situation in the country. First and foremost is timely introduction of complementary food for the young children. Second is advocate share of children aged between 6 to 23 months who receive sufficient diet and third is household access to improved sanitation facilities. All these factors together will hopefully have a positive impact on the child health and nutrition. So with this I conclude my topic for today. Please like, comment and share if you like our video. You can also log on to www.jagrunjosh.com for more updates and download our Jagrunjosh current affairs app to stay connected.